All right, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to determine uh, what quadrant your angle is. The first thing that I'll show you guys is the easiest way for me to do these is to look at them and to visualize what they're looking at. Now, when given the quadrants, we've gone over this. Again, we have 0 and 2 pi. This is pi over 2. This is pi. This is 3 pi over 2. Now, the easiest way to relate this is I'm going to want to simplify my fraction so I can get it equal to 8. So if I notice, if I had 8 pi over 8, that's the same thing as pi, because 8 over 8 is 1. So it doesn't matter what your denominator is. Try to relate it to this general format. And, or, the, or you could also, um, you know, you might have thirds or fourths. But if you can relate it to, you know, your four quadrants, it will become very easy for you. So if you look at it right here, this would essentially be the same thing as 4 pi over 8, because 4, 4 eighths is 1 half. And this is essentially 8 over 8. All right? What about the bottom one? This would be what? What about the bottom one? This would be 12 over 8, which is 3 halves. And then this one would be 16 over 8. So if I was going to look, I'm saying, oh, I have 11 eighths. So it's between 8 and 12. And essentially, you know, that's going to be right roughly around here. It's going to be halfway between there. So 11 eighths, which is in the third quadrant. All right? Now, let's go and look at a problem like this, where we're just given radians. And I'm going to go through a circle here for you guys. If you remember what radians are, radians is the difference of your radius around your circle. So roughly what we have is, that is what we call one radian. And I'm probably drawing this a little bit incorrectly. I probably should have been a little smaller. But what you have is one, two radians, three radians, and what, 0.14159? That's pi, right? That's how you get pi. Because we say from here to here is pi. So it's 3.14159. So it's going to keep on continuing. If you did this again, one radian, two radians, three radians. Then you have, again, this 1.14159. And you add those kind of two together. So if my radian is 6.02, I know that, actually, this would actually be double it. But if you go and get your radians, so this would be my fourth radian, my fifth radian, my sixth radian. And then for here, I would have, it would be like 0 0.2 or point, well, it'd just be this, it'd be this area now doubled. So 6.20 is going to be somewhere right around here. So it'd be in radian or quadrant 4. Because 2 radians is 6.28, roughly, when you go to 2 pi, because it's pi doubled. So 2 times pi would be like 6.28, you know, continuously. So if I have 6.02, I know it's going to be in quadrant 4. Alright, so that's how you determine the quadrant of the angle. <coughs>